<laughs> Look, I did not want to make this video. Now, nah, who am I kidding? I wanted to make this video. I did not expect this to be like the end of 2022. I have tried to not take political sides on this channel. There's no real reason to. I mean, we're watching anime. And then I got a comment from someone saying, gun control is important. Your little comment on gun control is there. And I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to respond to that. Like, no offense. It's nothing personal. But, you know, last thing I want is to get this channel to be political. I have used Trump on my channel multiple times. All right. You can see in a couple of my thumbnails. You can see, like, my Trump impression. You know, you're the best around. Never gonna die. I don't know the song, but... Uh, I do a pretty good Trump impression, I think. Maybe maybe the microphone doesn't capture it, or maybe I don't have it well done here, but... Oh, my God. Okay. So, Trump, a few days ago, on his platform, Truth Social, decided to say... I am going to make a major announcement, all right? I, I don't have True Social pulled up here. Don't really, uh, I can't log into anything on this computer, all right? But look, he said he was going to make a huge announcement about something like we need superheroes in our lives and shit. And how do, how do I put it? How do I fucking put it? This is, this is ridiculous, okay? It's not the worst thing that could ever happen. No, if anything, this is harmless, all right? I mean, you could argue it's not harmless because, oh, people are gonna actually going to buy this. People are going to actually fall for it, but let me just show you all something that I think more people need to realize. All right, hold up. Let's take a look at what Trump had to say about Bitcoin just 18 months ago. Oh, did I not type it in right? Okay, let's see. We're going to go with, uh, is this all just Sam Bankman fried Okay, here we go. From the BBC. My green screen is not working properly. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me move myself a bit. Ads. Oh, I clicked on my OBS picture instead of... <laughs> I guess I don't usually do this, but I thought this was hilarious and it was great to react to. Donald Trump calls Bitcoin a scam against the dollar. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has, has told Fox Business that he sees Bitcoin as a scam affecting the value of the U.S. dollar. Bitcoin just seems like a scam. It just seems like a scam, okay? Mr. Trump said, I don't like it because another crypto, uh, another currency competing against the dollar, okay? I'm like, I have a lot of comments about the U.S. dollar myself, but then on this channel, I have to get political. He added that he wanted the dollar to be the currency of the world. Uh, okay, so ho hold on. Did Trump just admit that he's in favor of the petrodollar? Isn't that kind of what the petrodollar is? <laughs> anyway, um, maybe, maybe I misread that. The price of Bitcoins is falling steadily. Yeah, no shit. I had the Bitcoin uh, ETF. I bought it at the top. I didn't buy that much. Let's just look at this. We got Scrooge McDuck right here. Is this? Yes, yeah, the Bitcoin. <laughs> okay. I'm not the biggest expert on Bitcoin. You know, it's whatever to me at this point. But let's just recap him saying that versus him launching his own NFTs. You can't make this up. All right, I. I was looking at this on my personal Twitter account, which I will not share on here because I would give you guys my real name. But it's crazy. All right, he, he calls Bitcoin a scam. And people are like, I didn't have this on my 2022 bingo card. And I'm like, neither did I. I had it on my 2023 bingo card. Eventually, he was going to get into NFTs. Now, I don't know what y'all think of NFTs, but I think we all saw it from Butters, what he had to do, you know, uh, uh, what was it, Victor Chaos? Victor Chaos? Yeah, what, whatever. Klaus, Klaus, whatever he called himself. <laughs> and it turns out, no, his name's actually Victor Chaos. How, how do I put it? It's it's ridiculous that he actually did this. All right. Let, let, let's just watch the video because I think we should react to that before I make any further comments. All right. Let's just uh, click on this. Uh, you know, Twitter is just a fucking nightmare these days. Not saying it's a bad thing. Just <laughs> yeah, ever, ever since Elon took over. Wow. Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump. Hopefully your favorite president of all time. Better ah, than that's Lincoln, debatable. Better than Washington. There's but a lot to criticize about Washington Lincoln and Washington. I'm doing just saying. Official Donald J. Trump NFT collection. Right okay, so it is right NFTs. Now. I didn't They're think it was NFTs at Trump first. Digital trading cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life. That is the worst fucking. <laughs> you can collect your it's, Trump digital. That is cards, not his body. Just like a baseball card. 
or other collectibles. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like Dinner With Me. I don't know if that's an amazing uh, After the Kanye so debacle, have, you really want to do that again, bro? You and a group of your friends <laughs> at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. They are. I'm they are. I, that, that is very true. One -on -one so is mar -a Autographing memorabilia. And so much now that could be worth something, lot. actually. My official Trump digital trading cards are ninety-nine dollars, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. It, oh, it doesn't sound like very much. No, 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 of course it's not. <laughs> it's my community, and I think it's something you're going to like, and you're gonna like it a lot. They also make perfect gifts, so you can. Yes, this is definitely what I thought about getting my children. Crypto. I don't have All any children, you but yeah. You know. an email address. <laughs> Go to collecttrumpcards.com. And buy your Trump digital trading card. Is he for real? Okay, look. How do I put it? When I first saw this this morning, I just thought, okay, he's making digital trading cards, whatever. It's stupid. I was like, and then people are like, oh yeah, he's selling NFTs now. And I'm like, eh, maybe it's not NFTs. Technically, it's just a photo. And then I look it up and sure enough, it's NFTs. It's fucking NFTs. <laughs> Everyone calls NFTs a scam. Look, I I give Bitcoin a lot more faith than it probably deserves, but you know, the it's I think people see Bitcoin for what it isn't. This is not financial advice, but if you're looking to buy Bitcoin for like a hedge against inflation, a hedge against the uh, the dollar, I don't think that's possible anymore. All right. If you want to buy it for its other applications, which uh the main one that I think is that you can basically trade Bitcoin to someone anywhere in the world. They'll get the money right away and they can cash it out right away. Yeah, I think that's like uh, one of the best applications you can have for Bitcoin. But besides that, what what the fuck, Mr. Former President? <laughs> Look, this guy was my... Okay, I'm a sergeant in the Marine Corps. All right, I'm in the uh, IRR right now, so I can actually state my mind on this. This guy's running for president. He's not the president anymore. For four years, I couldn't say shit about this guy. Okay? Not publicly. And definitely not in uniform. You're not really allowed to do that. Is that a... A star of Dave oh god I'm pretty sure this guy's a, a Kanye fan <laughs> but let's just recap let's see when was this article written when did he call it a scam to have Bitcoin which is blockchain you know June 8th 2021 it is according to my calendar it is December 12th 2022 that is a year, six months, and a week. Okay? That is ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. He, he went from being like, oh, crypto is, crypto is a scam. Okay, it's a scam. All right, let me, let me make this big. I'm sorry that it looks a little fuzzy. All right, my green screen's not doing too well. It's it's a cloth, okay? It's a cloth. All right. I will show you all what, the, what this actually looks like at the end of the video. Okay, so... I'm a, I, this is the best, okay, this is the best, I, I, no, Bitcoin is terrible, it's terrible, and it's, it's a scam, it just seems like a scam to me, okay? Uh, you know, maybe I'm not doing the best impression, uh, impression right now. Usually I do pretty well, then again, I usually talk to people who hate the guy, so. Let's try to look for some people who have something nice to say. Alright, so Trump's, mate, it's from Jonathan Lemire, I don't know who this guy is, but, uh, I can't really zoom in. Trump's major announcement is the release of Trump digital trading cards. <laughs> what? Pathetic 99 digital trading cards. Yeah, pretty much. Right wing cope. Now nah, I'm going to ignore that. Disclose TV. Now nah, I'm going to ignore that. Actually, no, no, no. Let's see. Disclose. I think they're usually very pro Trump. Uh, major announcement. Trump is now selling digital trading cards. <laughs> let's look at this photo. Okay. Let's look at the photo. Embarrassing, sheesh. Uh, Denzel Washington. Yeah, that, that, that's me right there. Denzel Washington. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Major announcement. My official Donald Trump digital trading card collection is here. These limited edition cards feature amazing art of my life and career. Collect all your favorite Trump digital trading cards. Very much like a baseball card, but hopefully much more exciting. Go to collecttrumpcards.com. This video is not sponsored, by the way. All right. I wish. I wish I could be sponsored to do something this stupid. Get your cards now, only $99 each. Would make a very great Christmas gift. Yeah, that's gonna be something. Imagine this, you 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 wake up on Christmas morning and you ask what Santa left for you in your stocking and they say, oh, well, actually, uh, the former Mr. President, the greatest president ever, 
decided to, you know, it'd be fun if we bought you an NFT. What? <laughs> Don't wait. They'll be... Uh, why didn't I read this in my Trump voice? Don't wait. They will be gone, I believe, very quickly. Okay, look, I'm no Trump voice on, on this. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like I said, I usually don't make videos like this, but this is too funny. This is too fucking funny. There's a lot of worse shit going on right now. If I actually talked about the news all the time, you'd all be very depressed. All right. Whether it's uh, the Kanye shit, you know, I think I think that's actually one of the lowest things we've seen. Why? Nobody takes Kanye seriously. Very few people take him seriously. People, a lot of people take Trump seriously on this one. But look at look at this. It's obviously photoshopped. I don't think they drew that from uh, verbatim. Or I don't think they drew that from scratch. I think what they did was they found some random ass figure, drew it with some guy who's probably way more ripped and way just way younger and everything. And they decided, okay, we're just going to Photoshop this head of Trump and put it on the body. <laughs> Let's see what the top comments are. No thanks. Yes, yeah, confirms DeSantis 2024. Uh, yeah, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. No way, this is the Trump card. We need a big patriotic economic club to fight against WEF. Money is evil. Okay, World Economic Forum, follow FTX, donations to... How can you say all that, you know, talk about FTX and then not think this is a... Oh, oh God. I'm uh, I'm not going to read the rest from Disclosed TV. Chuds of TikTok. Uh, no. George, Ukraine flag and bio. Selling cards. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm trying here. I'm trying. Baked Alaska. Wait, hold up. The major announcement was we're all waiting for this ugly Trump trading cards. Meanwhile, Ye is preaching the Bible, defending January six victims. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm pretty sure Ye. I'm not gonna make any comments on Ye. All right, just this guy's clearly a, a simp for Ye. Wait, oh uh, yeah, it says right there in his bio, Ye twenty four. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not gonna happen, okay? Now, I'm wondering why Trump won't denounce that, uh, that handler that Ye has. I mean, it's like, he's saying, uh, I can't, uh, I can't have, like, upset my base. I'm like, dude, the guy has, like, 20,000 followers on his own website. You, you're really worried about 20,000 followers? Yeah, I, I think his priorities are elsewhere right now. Okay, yeah, let's see, typical, uh, propaganda bullshit. Yeah. Here it is, his big announcement, ah, from Kimmers. No idea who that bitch is. True Blue, no idea who these guys are. Let's look for some right-wing accounts. Okay, let's see what they're saying. Uh, let's try Ben Shapiro. I think he's gonna be on the Full Send podcast soon, so that's that's gonna be funny. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Facts don't care about your feelings. Yeah, the usual bullshit. Thank God, the digital trading. No, no, no. Thank God, the digital trading cards are here. It was indeed a major announcement. Not, not my best impression, but <laughs> major announcement. Yeah. Okay. Blah blah blah. We already know that. Uh. Yeah. That that's my that's my emoji right here. All right. This is my emoji. All right. Why? I mean, why? Should Elon disc? Uh, dig, okay. More replies right here. Can people just screen grab them for free? I, I don't think that's possible. Actually, I mean, you could take a yeah, you could take a screen grab of this if you want that to be your wallpaper or something. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I mean, even for the biggest Trump fans, this has to be cringe. Come on. This was his announcement? Seriously? Yeah, he was going on and on and on. Like, this is gonna be a great announcement. It's gonna be the best, okay? We're gonna be we're gonna build the wall, or we're gonna be like we're we're gonna we're gonna finally prove about the election from 2020, okay? Alright? The the crack in is coming out here. Alright, we we figure Sydney power or something. Look, I, I do follow politics. I do not want to get into it, but <laughs> my god. <laughs> uh yeah, this was on Truth Social. I did check Truth Social, and sure enough, that's where it is. Um, let, let's see, who else can we check that's on, on the right? Uh, sure enough, there's got to be someone on the right. Ben Shapiro's just like the biggest guy I know on the right. Uh, here's someone who is technically on the right, but, you know, doesn't identify as it. Tim Pool. Okay, blah, 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 all his shit. Uh, here it is. Better than Lincoln or Washington. Not sure if dinner with him is actually a good prize. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one, Tim. All right, and these are the Hodge twins. Trump's big announcement. I feel like I woke up at 3 a.m. and the infomercial and the infomercials were on TV. <laughs> Not a good look. Whoever told him to, to do this gave him bad advice. Y you think? You think? Those guys are Marines, by the way. They. It's what the hell. He's gonna be speaking at N NFT NYC. <laughs> 
I I really thought when he look when he said trading cards, I was like, okay, they're physical, yeah, it's whatever. But nope, you're such a simp. For, he's not simping for Trump. He just said it's not it's not a good uh, whatever. <laughs> all right, who who else we got? Andrew Tate. Yeah, not a fan of Andrew Tate. All right. Look, I don't know what my fan base is here. I saw a couple of my newer subscribers had like MAGA photos and shit. I got no hatred towards anyone. Look, let, 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 this, this is perfect. This is perfect. I did not plan this. I swear I did not plan this. Victor Chow. Denny's Applebee's Max is the premier place in town for people to eat. With NFTs, you can give your customers unique digital goods on the blockchain. Lots of people eat Denny's and Applebee's. And lots of people know about NFTs. You know what this is? People who eat Denny's Applebee's Obviously, Matt and Trey are against That's the blockchain in general. Audience, People say that makes them establishment. NFTs, Others say, no, it's actually really pro-establishment to be in favor of this shit. Of money. That's a pretty goddamn good idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That is, that is horrible. All right. Look, Victor Chouse made a living off of, off of scamming people with NFTs, all right? Now, obviously, the creators of South Park call it a Ponzi scheme. I don't know. Choose your fighter, Republicans. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right. I, I'm familiar with Ron DeSantis. You know, you think whatever you want of him. I don't care anymore. Today, I signed legislation that will cut tolls in half for an estimated 1.2 million Florida commuters. This will save commuters 500 million during 2023. Individual commuters can save up to 1,500, depending on the amount of tolls incurred. I've been to Florida once. We ended up paying tolls, even though the the car we rented actually had them prepaid. It seems pretty good to me, all right? I don't know how you could be a Democrat and not say, hey, tolls are, are good, especially because tolls, are, aren't they... Hold on, how, how do the tolls work there? Are the tolls for the government? Or are they, or for, they, or are they for, like, private roads? I, I guess if they're for the government, people are going to say that's less tax revenue. I don't know. But if it's for, like, private roads, I'm pretty sure a lot of Democrats would be in favor of this, too. And it's kind of weird Republicans would be. Or that they would be. But... This is ridiculous. Okay, look, look at this. This is Ron DeSantis, okay? He's, uh, I think, a uh, former, he's a, a lawyer. He went to law school. He worked in the Navy as a lawyer. Yeah, I think he was part of, like, a SEAL team. Now, compare this! Compare this! <laughs> I, I do not have, I do not have the derangement syndrome for Donald Trump, okay? I was not allowed to. All right, he was my boss for four years. But, but let's keep this in mind, all right? I'm going to reveal a little more about that I know about politics. People are saying that Ron DeSantis is pro-establishment. He's like the biggest man up there. He's like, oh, everyone's backing him like the Bush dynasty and all that. Look, I get it. Nobody likes the Bushes. Although a lot of people do now for some reason. But you, you've got to admit here, there, there's no comparison. There's no comparison between the two. Now, granted, Trump's not in office. I get it. This is meant to be like a... It's probably in bad faith. Let's look at the comment real quick. One's in office, one is in defense. Trump can't do anything considering he's not in political. Exactly, he's not in office. Well, I understand it's definitely my close second. I don't know. A lot of polls on Twitter and, like, I think on Predicted are, are, all, are all saying it's DeSantis. He's backed by big money and all that. Yeah, I get it. But didn't Trump endorse, like, half, like, half those guys multiple times? <laughs> oh, God. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. As you can see right here, Trump's major announcement. Just as pathetic at this point. Yeah, y you think? <laughs> All right, enough of Tim Pool. I don't really care for the guy. Uh, that's okay. That's the guy who. Uh, wow, there's a. You know, maybe I should react to some more. Maybe I shouldn't get political. I could just react to like all these, like political people and how they're. Uh, y you know what? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. No. Ah. Uh, Trump. NFTs. Oh, I did misspelled that. <laughs> This microphone gets in the way. It's a small keyboard, okay? I kind of have to do this with two fingers. He still hasn't posted to Twitter. Dr Ash WSB. That's Wall Street Bats. LOL Trump NFTs. Ah, look. I don't know what to do. Putin shits. I, I, I. Look, there are a lot of people who will not give Trump a single good day no matter what he does. And I think that's stupid. All right. You know what the saying is? A broken clock is, twi is right twice a day. Actually, it's right three times. Once in the morning, once in the evening, and once when you're dead. You know, because you can't tell time. Terrible joke, but 
Major announcements. Okay. Aaron Rupar. I think he's from... Uh, oh, yeah. He's from that guy who... Wor uh, he works for that guy who works at... Uh, and Bob's Burgers. The, the one who does Hugo. Yeah. Sam Cedar. He works for them. More pathetic than anticipated. I have to agree. This hat doesn't stand for racism, bigotry, or hatred. It only triggers yours. Okay. Uh... This is this is pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> this is fucking accurate. Look, Trump's been trimming down. All right, I noticed, but he's still a huge fat fuck. I do not want to. I do not want to fat shame anybody. That's not really me. But look, when you get a lot of right wingers who will fat shame people, I think it what was it. Uh, Gavin McGinnis, founder of the Proud Boys. He like he was at the gym with somebody and he fat shamed him. He, like, he just fat shamed them, and it's like, dude, they're fat, they're at the gym, they're doing better for themselves. What are you doing? And he defended himself, like, uh, I'm, I'm giving him shit because he needs it. I'm like, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. That guy's doing the right thing, and you're giving him shit for it. So, you know, it's called being an asshole. But just look at this. This is more accurate. Now, you look at the video, and he's not this fat anymore, but... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Trump Tower. America needs a superhero. I'll make a major announcement tomorrow. Thank you. Look. Everyone thought this was cute. People thought this was cute. They thought it was pathetic, but it was cute. They figured, okay, this is just Trump being Trump. He does this thing where he has, you know, like an image, and it's like, oh, wow, this is nice. Somebody drew this. It's very well made. He retruthed it. Like, I agree with Elon Musk. He should have called it Trumpet. Okay. <laughs> How? How the fuck does this happen? <laughs> Major announcement. A crummy trading card. This is just going to be 30 minutes of me shitting on this. Oh my god, he stole it from bros. I, I've never seen I've never seen this. The bros, I think. I, I forget what this guy's called, but he just stole it from them. He can't even come up with anything original. He couldn't come up with something original for what? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. <sighs> Look. What are his biggest supporters saying? Uh, a lot of them are banned from Twitter, and they're not coming back. A, lot, a couple of them went for Kanye West instead. All right. Or yay, as they want to call him. Yay. Yay. <sighs> I have to see what, what his biggest, his former biggest supporters, all right. His board is like, you got Alex Jones. You got Milo Yiannopoulos. All right. Uh, like, I don't know. Everyone from InfoWars, Daily Wire. Well, I guess they weren't really his biggest supporters. Look, I have no idea what to make of any of this. This is ridiculously funny. Now, this is nice, actually. This is a good image. Okay. An even better image. He looks so skinny. I wonder why. As a fucking NASCAR driver, DT, Don, D Donald Trump. Is that the guy? Is that the Let's Go Brandon guy? I think it's the Let's Go Brandon guy. <laughs> yeah, the other night, I pretended I didn't know what Let's Go Brandon meant. I know what it means, guys, okay? I'm just trying not to do that. What's the Lincoln Project got to say? Trump's NFTs are like mini vision boards for the man he wishes he was. Okay, Lincoln Projects is cr is cringe, all right? Let's, let's face it, but they're right. They are absolutely right about that one. <laughs> I am trying not to laugh. Look, this guy's laughing more than I am. And Drift Orr, he hyped this up as a major announcement. There's a lot of shit that ha it's going on in the world right now, all right? Both domestically and foreign, and the guy announced he's running for president... And, you know, uh, people lost their minds again. And it's funny seeing people freak out. Like, I'm going to move to Canada if he, if he gets elected. And I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're fucking not. Okay. Nobody moved to Canada because he was elected. My own sister threatened to move to Canada because he was elected. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, never mind. She threatened to move because we wouldn't let her have her boyfriend. Anyway, we're not going to get into that. All right. But it wasn't about Trump. No. She didn't like the guy. She still doesn't like the guy. But I, I don't know what to make of this. I really don't. I'm repeating myself constantly. Bottom line is, this this guy is losing the plot. This, okay, this is nice. This is a nice one. Yeah, but it's obviously photoshopped. <laughs> yeah, he's using Jason Momoa for that. This is that clown's announcement. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Propaganda. Bullshit. Bullshit. People shitting for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, he's John Wayne. He's a fucking astronaut. Look, props to whoever made the artwork for this. It's pretty well made and all, but it looks like Photoshop. It really does. A ham sandwich with cheese. 
And then it was him who wants to have McDonald's. Yes, uh, Trump has McDonald's very often. Now, what I find funny is these guys are usually pretty elitist because they'll be like, yeah, I love having McDonald's. Oh, that's for like that's for the rabble. And I'm like, all you're doing is revealing yourself to say that anyone who has McDonald's is full of shit. Now, I don't eat McDonald's myself. I prefer In-N-Out. Like, I, I will, I'll probably go get some In-N-Out after this. You know, I got finals today, and I really shouldn't be making this video, but I kind of had to. Ah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, you know, it's like these guys do not want to have uh, uh, McDonald's. It's like, oh, you poor people in your McDonald's. The reason Trump does it, I won't shit on him for this, is because it's pre-made. So he can just walk in and grab whatever's uh, already made and they can't poison it. Or you can just have a taste tester. Or you can just have to go someone, someone go buy it for you. There's a reason why he's like, he's obese, okay? I wouldn't say morbidly obese, but there's a reason why he's obese. Now, I'm borderline obese myself right now because I really haven't been taking care of myself the last uh, year and a half, but I'm starting to change it. This is what he actually looks like. Okay, I, I, they probably added, like, filters, and they probably photoshopped it, but uh, this is what he looks like right now, okay? He's a little less orange than usual because the lighting's not as bad, but I, I don't know. Trump, longtime scammer, joins biggest scam NFTs. All right, people call him a scammer for a lot of reasons, but... He literally said that Bitcoin is a scam. All right. How is he not going to suddenly come out and be like, oh, yeah, you know what I said? Uh, Bitcoin's a scam because I didn't make it, okay? I didn't make it. Therefore, it's a scam, okay? Uh, uh, largest audience for Trump NFTs trying to buy Trump NFT. Uh, is that Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. I don't. I'm done here. Look, y'all. Y'all just watched 30 minutes of me shitting on Donald Trump. I don't take this the wrong way, please. Don't. All right. This is, I just thought this was the funniest thing in the morning. And this is a great way to get me out of bed so I can actually do my finals. Okay. But <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've seen. He's charging $99. Hold on. Buy 45 digital trading cards and you are guaranteed to take it to dinner with the president. He wants you to spend $4,500 to go to Mar-a-Lago and have dinner with him. And it probably will be McDonald's. Look, I am not shitting on people for eating McDonald's. I think it's McDonald's is just complete shit. All right? I hate McDonald's. I really don't want anything to do with McDonald's. But you're going to pay $4,500. Okay, okay. $4,400 and then $51. And $51. Yeah. $4,451. So that you can have a bunch of worthless NFTs of Donald John Trump and then go have dinner with him. I, what? I am this close to buying it just so I can like walk up to the guy and shit on him. But look, I can't do that. Again, please note that I am no longer in the Marine Corps as of right now. I might be going back in. But as of right now, I can speak my mind on this guy. Okay, it's It's ridiculous. Let's go, Brandon is too elitist. The masses want their Trump NFTs. Sure. Well, I just got some bad news, but uh, we're... I think I'm done with the video. Yeah, so much for starting my day up strong. Let's just say I did something stupid yesterday and it's coming back to haunt me. Um. I read something else here that apparently the money doesn't even go to his organization. It goes to, uh, it doesn't go to his campaign. It goes to like a privately NFT company. So please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the notification bell. And if this was too much for you, I'm sorry, but it's, it's fucking hilarious. Stay tuned, everybody.